May 31st is National Save Your Hearing Day here in the United States. And let's face it, the drums are a very loud instrument. So I feel like this is an important topic that we need to touch on at some point. Now, I know it's not the most flashy topic. It doesn't get covered on YouTube because it doesn't have flashy drum chops. It doesn't have memes. It doesn't, it has nothing to do with any of that, but it's a critical part of our lives as musicians and music lovers, because once your hearing's gone, there's no getting it back. I've tried a lot of products and methods for protecting my hearing over the years, and my current favorite solution is the musician's earplugs from a company called Earpiece. And we will talk about them more later. They are helping to support this video. But the important thing is that you get yourself protected somehow because hearing loss is irreversible. In the US, roughly 15% of all adults have some trouble hearing. And a lot of this is due to age. There is a natural loss of hearing that occurs with age, but it can be drastically accelerated by long-term exposure to loud noises. Those who report working in very loud and noisy work environments for five years or more are about three times more likely to develop problems hearing the frequencies of the human voice, which can obviously make one's life quite difficult. And not only for that person, but also for those around them who constantly have to speak louder and repeat themselves. It's really something you don't want to ever have to deal with, or you want to push it off as late as you possibly can. And this is especially important for those of you that are young out there. You need to start wearing some sort of hearing protection as early as possible, because once again, this is a one-way street. Once you lose your hearing, there's nothing you can do about it to get it back. So in honor of National Save Your Hearing Day, I'm actually going to go get my own hearing tested. And it's been about 10 years since I've had that done. So I'm really curious to see what my hearing is like after all these years. You know, I think I've done a relatively good job of protecting my ears, but I haven't had a perfect record. You know, there's definitely been times where I've had, you know, the monitor a little bit too loud or my earplugs a little bit too far out or no protection at all at times. So I wouldn't be surprised if I have a little bit of damage. I do occasionally have minor problems understanding people. I might have to ask them to repeat something because it was just too quiet. Um, and I do have a little bit of a ringing in my ears. Fortunately, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. In fact, I can't even notice it unless I'm in a silent room. It's so quiet. But it is there and it's a little bit alarming because I know that I will never get those frequencies back. So I'm gonna go get my hearing tested. I found it was pretty easy to find locations to get a free test. So if you're near a Sam's Club, for example, that was the closest place for me, they do free hearing tests. And a lot of times you can just walk in without an appointment, but not every location does that. So it's usually best to call ahead. Hearing center, this is Kevin. Uh, hi, I am looking to schedule a hearing test. Would today be possible? Uh, yeah, I can actually get you in today if you want. Could you get here by 3.30? Uh, 3.30 would be perfect. Okay, what's your name? Sean, S-H-A-W-N. Okay, we'll see you about 3.30. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, there you go. It's not the closest place to where I'm staying currently, but uh, it's better than nothing, so let's go check it out. Okay, I think this is the place. Just hope I don't run out of gas before I get there. All right, let's do this. All right. Got the results. So first of all, they stuck a camera in my ear and they showed me images of all the stuff that's going on in my ears. There's some gross stuff in there, but he said that's normal. He said you shouldn't clean out your, uh, the wax in your ears, so that's apparently good. It looks disgusting, but it's good. And then I went into the soundproofed booth and he set me up with the device and then I did the test. And every time I heard a tone, I just clicked on this little clicker button thing. And the results were a little bit different than I expected. Um, yeah, I got perfect hearing or almost perfect hearing. I was expecting to have at least a little bit of damage, but apparently I did pretty good. So you see this red line is for my right ear and that is at zero decibels. So that's what's considered normal. And then the left one is the blue line. And that one, I actually scored better than normal, surprisingly, somehow on a couple of the different frequencies. And then I did have a little bit of a dip at 6K, so maybe potentially a little bit of damage there. He said it's normal for musicians to have a lot of hearing loss at 6K. Um, and by the way, this test only measured up to 6K, so we did not test the super, super high frequencies. 
and I wouldn't be surprised if I do have a little tiny bit of damage up there. But he said normally for musicians you would expect to see a lot worse score. And I did have about a 5 decibel reduction in the left ear at 6k, which doesn't surprise me because that's where I normally have my monitor on stage. And so what I would normally do is play with in-ear monitors, but I would pull out the left ear just so I can hear the monitor a little bit better in the room. I mean, what I really should do is route everything through my in-ears. Whereas now I'm usually just getting like the computer and the click track in my ears and then everything else I'm kind of hearing on stage. But I mean, considering 20 years of playing a very, very loud instrument, I think that this is a pretty darn good result. So I guess that speaks to the importance of hearing protection. And with that, I want to introduce you to my friends at the wonderful company Earpiece who are helping me out on this video. I have tried a lot of different solutions for hearing protection. I've used the old crusty earplugs that you use when you're mowing the lawn. I've used paper towels, all kinds of disgusting things. I've used in-ear monitors. I've tried big headphones. I've tried custom-made earplugs. And for a long time, my favorite solution were the custom molded earplugs, as you can imagine, but they're incredibly expensive. You know, the benefit there was that they sounded really great. They were really expensive, but it sounded like it was a flat EQ curve. In other words, with most other headphones, you're getting this really muffled sound. It sounds like you're underwater. And so if you wanted something better in the past, you had to shell out multiple hundreds of dollars to get these custom molded earplugs. And those were great um, until they got stolen. They got stolen at some point in 2013 which is a real shame because nobody else can use those earplugs because they're the shape of my ears. So at that point, I had to go back to using what I was using before. I was a broke musician living in New York. I couldn't afford the fancy earplugs. And so I went back to using napkins and paper towels in my ears. That's not very fun. It's really gross because it's not going to be clean when you pull it out. And by the way, sometimes it gets stuck in there. Nobody wants to deal with that, okay? So it's much better to have an actual set of earplugs and this is where earpiece comes into the picture. And these sound phenomenal. They sound just as good as my super custom molded earplugs that I had years ago, but for a fraction of the price. So these are super affordable. You don't need to go to an audiologist to get fitted. They are a universal fit. And the sound you get is really true to how things actually sound. It's just quieter. So the EQ curve, you're just turning everything down equally instead of turning down the high end a lot. And I want you guys to know that whenever I'm talking about products on this channel, this is stuff that I actually use, that I actually like. I get a lot of really, um, how shall I say, interesting offers for sponsorships in my inbox that I decline because they're not a good fit or I don't like the product. I'm not gonna advertise anything that I don't like. And in fact, Earpiece, in this case, I actually reached out to them because I was already in love with their earplugs. So I've actually been using these earplugs for the last six months. I use them for practicing, for travel, for sleeping. They are fantastic, they're super comfortable, and they sound amazing. So do yourself a favor, go get yourself tested and pick up a pair of these earpiece earplugs. They are very inexpensive and there's a sale through the end of the day on May 31st. So if you wanna go ahead and grab 30% off any purchase off $50, I believe it is, then head to the link below. If you missed the deal, these are super affordable anyway. Go ahead and get yourself a pair. I mean, live music is opening up again, at least here in the States. So go ahead and get yourself protected. In case you're wondering, the ones that I use are the music Pro and I actually have the model with the least decibel reduction. I use the medium protection which offers 16 decibels of reduction. I find that for me that that is plenty. That's all I really need but if you do want more protection, if you're a particularly heavy hitter, then they do have other options available offering up to 24 decibels in reduction. And you can also buy a separate pack of filters if you want to be able to switch between them. And then you can just pop them out of the earplug and change them out as you wish. So thank you to Earpiece for supporting this video. Make sure you take advantage of this deal happening through Monday, May 31st. There's a discount code in the link description that you can use. Make sure you protect your ears. You want to be able to enjoy music for many, many years to come. And there's no better time to start protecting your hearing than now. <laughs>